since I've been back in Canada after an extended travel period in 2022, where I spent a couple months in each Portugal, Croatia, and Italy. And I wanted to continue my sort of reflections on what I packed, what I didn't, what I wish I had packed. I did a video that touched on that a little bit. I will link it for you up here, but this is really an exhaustive list that I came up with of items that I will most likely never travel without again. These are mostly seasonless items. So really good for like those shoulder season periods if you're traveling or if you're traveling to multiple climates. Hopefully you find this list helpful if you're traveling soon, if you're packing, hopefully it'll help you avoid some mistakes. This list is centered around anything wardrobe related. So not just clothes, things like my True Earth Eco Strips as well. I take my laundry very seriously, especially when I'm traveling because I have such a limited number of clothes to work with. It's extra important that I keep them looking and feeling fresh and clean. Today's video is in partnership with True Earth, a fantastic Canadian company. I've been using True Earth Eco Strips for several years now. I love them because they are phosphate free, paraben free, hypoallergenic. They don't use any animal product and they don't test on animals at any point in their supply chain. Whether I'm at home or traveling, I use True Earth Eco Strips because they just make laundry so easy. There's no plastic, they take up no space when traveling or even just at home, which is really handy. And I can wash both my normal laundry and delicates. So I can just take a strip, rip it in half and put it in the sink, especially when I'm traveling because this is how I handle my delicates. I'm excited to share a discount code with you if you've never tried a True Earth Eco Strips and you'd like to, or maybe you need a refill or you've been wanting to reduce your plastic consumption or get chemicals out of your laundry process, Bell Tempo will get you 10% off. I will leave all of the details in the description box below. If it were up to me forever and ever, I would choose fresh linen, which is my favorite scent, but of course, you know, They've got a couple of different scents, which are really fun. Okay, let's go. My first, very, very first piece on the list, silk pajamas. Okay, it sounds so bougie and I am so sorry, but for me, having a pair of pajamas that felt really luxurious, really good on my skin, felt as though I was like in a five-star situation, even after, you know, tired travel days or big long days of exploring and also of not ever really being in your own home, having a pair of super comfortable and chic and luxurious pajamas was a game changer, just mentally. I was using Aseno, I love Aseno. These I found secondhand and they are a really lovely brand. Maybe for you, it's not silk pajamas. Maybe it's like some other sort of chic, comfy loungewear, or like cashmere joggers or something like that. But the whole point is just to have something that you feel really, really good in for when you're like doing your morning or evening routine. Okay, a strapless or convertible bra. Every time I have traveled for the past five years, I always find myself in a random department store looking for a strapless bra or like a bondo or something that'll work. I think it's because I like to sort of restyle my scarves when I'm running out of outfit ideas and I do still need a little bit of support. So I finally found this bra in Croatia. Couldn't tell you the brand. It came from like a small locally owned boutique, but it is actually probably the best strapless bra I've ever owned. A beautiful silk scarf. Again, this might look different for you. I think it could translate into any accessory that is colorful, that is interesting or slightly outside of your kind of basic capsule of travel stuff that you're bringing. Something that adds interest, but that is also very, very versatile. I cannot tell you how many times I pulled out my Gucci scarf, it's vintage, like just to tie around purse handles, tie around the neck, wear as a top. It's just so versatile and added so much color because I was traveling with a very neutral closet. Next up is a watch or an interesting metallic or hardware accessory accessory of your choice. That's how I would translate it if you're not a watch person. I have my Nord Green two-tone watch. I wore this so often. I think especially because the two-tone silver and gold allowed me to mix and match my jewelry in a more cohesive way. I think you can match silver and gold jewelry without having a piece that grounds it all together, but I liked having this. It just made all of my daytime looks feel a little bit more dressed, a little bit more polished. So anything like this that adds a little bit of shine, a little bit of heft, a little bit of like gravitas to your look can be so handy. My True Earth Eco Strips, which I already mentioned. I will link to some of the videos when I was traveling of how I was using these. I will put them up here for you if you would like more info. But in the meantime, I have a little tidbit for you. 
little factoid about these things. For every 32 Laundry Eco strips purchased at True Earth, you eliminate one plastic jug from the landfill or ocean. So that's pretty cool. Love, love, less plastic. Yay. A pair of really good sneakers. Stylish, but also really comfortable. There are so many options out there now. I would go for like either just a classic white tennis sneaker. Totally up to you. This is a really fun way to inject color and personality in your closet without having to feel like they have to be perfectly cohesive with all of your clothes. I think especially when we travel, footwear can be so much fun and they will take you anywhere. They can even be dressed up if you want. Okay, this next one is maybe a little bit personal, depending on whether you are a belt person or not, but a standard size and like classic buckle belt was a huge game changer for me, just in terms of adding a little bit of polish and interest to all of my looks. I think a standard size is the one I used the most and I will never travel without again. Standard size is like this one that I'm wearing today. It also happens to be, shameless plug, my co-design with Canadian company Brave leather. So we really created the standard width so that it could work with pants, skirts, dresses, any of your denim, belt loops, trouser loops. It'll fit in all of those. And I really think that's what gives it the versatility. It's kind of nice to have a little bit of that extra shine in your travel outfits. And it's a very like low effort, high visual impact thing that you can add to any look. Okay, a day to night dress. Now this one will depend on your climate. So in the summer or if you're in a warmer climate, then I would say something like a silk dress that is cut on the bias. Hem length is totally up to you. I think we can wear maxis and minis and middies at any point in the day or evening. It's just about how you accessorize it. But picking a really nice, simple and classic dress is perfect. In the winter, I think this would look like a knit dress or a colder climate. Just as versatile, just as easy to dress up and dress down depending on your accessories. Okay, an unlined coat. I I didn't bring an unlined coat with me. I think an unlined coat, especially if you're traveling in shoulder seasons, like transitional spring, fall, or if you're traveling between climates, it's fantastic. You won't overheat because it's not lined. It looks chic thrown over absolutely everything. And it's not too heavy if you're in a warmer climate or if you're in that kind of awkward transition season, you won't overheat in it. Like it's just like that perfect little top layer for when you wanna be a little bit warmer. Hem length will be completely up to you, your proportions, but also what type of shoes you're bringing with you. Everyday versatile earrings. I'm a big earring fan. You know, this could be another piece of jewelry if you're not. Shameless plug for my Ana Luisa co-creation or my, my collaboration with them. I designed these earrings with this almost very specific purpose in mind. I wanted an earring that could work day to night, that had enough visual impact that it stood out with whatever it is that you're wearing, but it also does and compete if you want to dress things up with like necklaces or if you're wearing a really cool pair of glasses. They just work with everything. And I find earrings really do add that nice little, just like a little bit of shine up around your face, which again, when you're tired, when you're not maybe particularly feeling like you want to get dressed up, they're such like an easy grab and go and they'll work with everything. A short sleeve cashmere t-shirt. This is another one of those pieces like the unlined coat that I didn't bring, but that I often really really, really wished I had, especially because we were traveling through those transitional seasons. I felt like having that t-shirt option in a more sort of luxurious fabric would have been so beneficial to layer underneath sweaters when it was cold, but then it really works seamlessly all the way into sort of warmer spring like June. Probably wouldn't have been able to wear it too, too much on those hot, hot summer days, but on a summer evening, even like a hot evening, just feels so luxurious. You feel so so put together a measuring tape. I've mentioned this before in another video about shopping secondhand and shopping smart. I don't go anywhere without my measuring tape, especially when I'm traveling. There's a lot of like markets and vintage places and there aren't always areas where you can try things on comfortably. Having a measuring tape is so useful because you can just measure the garment. The other half of this though is that you need to know your own measurements and like in terms of what fit you like. It's one thing to know sort of your bust to make sure that a piece of clothing will fit on you, but also maybe measure some of the shirts and pants and dresses. Measure those specs. Like if you have a specific fit that you like, you'll know those measurements as well. You're not gonna be surprised at all at this next one. Button up shirt. Button up. Button up. My favorite. 
How many times can I say button up? My favorite is the power of my people. I think a button up for me is one of the most versatile pieces, no matter what season you're traveling in. It's a beach cover up. It can be tied, it can be knotted, it can be worn backwards. However, I know that button ups don't work on everyone. So this could translate into something like a chambray shirt if this feels too stuffy for you. It could also translate into just maybe like sort of a silk or something like in a tensile or linen or something that has a little bit more drape and flow could even be like a shirt dress or a cardigan if that's more your style. The whole point is that it's something that can open all the way down so that it has that versatility of almost being a layer but a standalone piece. A day slash night bag. I still do not think, actually I did not have a handle on this when I was traveling and I bought some bags that I think did the job until I found the one bag. I recently got the Loewe Puzzle secondhand, 40% off, and I think this is a fantastic, fantastic day to night bag. It is the size small. And for night, I would just take the crossbody off and use the top handle. That is like all that is required. Some people might want a bag that feels more dressy for evening, not me. I'm not a bag person, so this is like perfect. A mid-weight jacket or blazer was also incredibly important. I brought only one blazer and I wish I had brought another one, like even my little jean jacket, which I didn't bring this and I found myself wanting something like this or even like a little moto jacket like this. Something that isn't too, too heavy, but that could be layered with sweaters, t-shirts, scarves, whatever underneath. I just think these are so, so versatile. The beauty of those is that with the shorter silhouette, they do balance out any like really great sort of like longer pants or dresses like you can really throw them over everything so that is what i have for you today i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it helps you in your next packing adventure give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you learned something new a huge thank you again to true earth for sponsoring today's video i really love working with them don't forget i have that discount code bell tempo will get you 10 percent off i will leave everything in the description box below for you and of course if you've got questions pop them in the comments. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, wonderful rest of your week. See you in the next slow fashion video. Ciao.